and so that uh, everyone can see me hello uh, at, at world and <coughs> say hello to uh, Amanda and Brenna um, uh, and, <laughs> and, and uh, Nick and we're gonna have to figure out how to better oh. figure out yeah he's got a face oh, yeah. radio it's a he's, well no he's got the microphone like <laughs> square in his face uh, and oh. apparently we have to keep this PG uh, for uh, all of our friends um, uh, in, in the world. <coughs> Yeah. You guys have friends. Yeah, we 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 have friends. Um, you, know, uh, you guys are uh, uh, right in the middle of things, uh, getting ready for Tech Week uh, for the second show out at Super Summer. Did you guys get a chance to see Music Man? We did. Yeah. yeah. Keith, Keith let you out. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I saw you guys there because apparently I was busy enjoying some liquid refreshments from Mr. Mario Mendez. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah. It, it, what'd you guys think? It was pretty good. Yeah, I especially good. enjoyed the costumes. Oh, the costumes, the costumes, were, costumes so were so good. beautiful. Well, I, I will say anything that uh, Sandra Huntsman, uh, you know, anything she gets her needles on. Absolutely. Uh, Wasn't that something she was? She slaved for just days, and it was one of those things where she was like, "Oh, didn't end." They're here. Go, go on stage. Go, because it was like she's doing it all. Uh, I think she did. Not all by herself. Well, no, she, did no, it, she, did, she didn't do it all by herself. It's funny. Um, my my better half, um, Kelly Ward, uh, is a music teacher over at uh, Tarkanian, and her assistant was sewing on uniform or costumes uh, for that show months ago. Wow. So wow. yeah. So um, thank you, Helen, uh, for doing all that. Um, I'm sure. Uh, they appreciate it now that they're all done. And Steve's all the way out in Bermuda already, and Sandra had to do teardown. <laughs> <laughs> props so, to you, Sandra. Uh, yeah, props to Sandra. Uh, you guys will hear some clicking. That's me going back and forth between the different cameras. So uh, if you hear deers turn off, that's why. Anyway, so, uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the production, uh, because um, it was recently you know, brought back on Broadway with Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, and John Larroquette in a couple of the uh, lead roles, uh, and Nick, uh, you don't even live in Vegas anymore, so I don't, I don't see how you even rate uh, being <laughs> cast in a show. Uh, how, did, how did that all come about? Because uh, I was, you know, uh, I was rooting for you because um, mm -hmm. I'd been talking to you while you were uh, right. uh, out there in the wilderness of Colorado, I guess. And uh, so I I'm guessing you submitted a. a a video for your audition. Yep, I sent in a video. Um, we have that on, by the way. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. No. Oh! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, Keith, obviously, people want to see this video, so please, please provide it for oh, us. Just, just play it, play it. Um, like, do a big projection of it in the meadow on the. Yes. Oh, that would be great. Oh, gosh. It, it, <laughs> if I, if I can, th those of you, those of you who uh, watch or know of this show, uh, know that uh, we. When I'm here, uh, video the show and put it up on YouTube within a day or two, and so that's why all the cameras are here. So uh, if you're listening live right now, God bless you because it's 10 p.m. on a Sunday night. <laughs> uh, but uh, when we go to commercial break, then that's when we get to really start talking. <clears throat> and yeah, so. All the dirty words that are trying to come out of Brenna's mouth right now. <laughs> she, she, can, she can she can do it during a commercial break. Ah, shucks, you guys. I'll send you with the belt. Thank you. Uh, and, and there there we go. The two lovely ladies. Um, and, and I, I want to give a shout out to Eiler Evan. Uh, it's his birthday today, and oh, I I, to I totally Bobby. blew him off. Um, it, it, he was at our friend Andrew's house, and God bless Andrew and Ava. Uh, going yes. through a whole bunch of uh, medical uh, garbage, uh, but Rainbow of Life, uh, they were at today, and mm -hmm. you were they, at today. Yeah, they did a great job. Yeah. They were the best part of the whole show, oh, hands fantastic. down. Fantastic. They were amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, so, uh, happy birthday. Um, I guess it's Mike Pemberton's birthday, too. But and oh, really? Isn't it Deanne Grace? PM too. Yeah. Happy birthday to everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nick. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Twenty-one in three months. Just saying. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh yeah. well, I guess I will put the uh, vodka away. <laughs> uh, Amanda, you and I are good because you and I are old farts. So. Yep. 
Yeah. Although everyone in the cast thinks I'm really young. They were like, you're my age, right? You're like 22. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you're still young. Shake your head. Yeah. Okay. You're younger than me. I'm, I'm 86. I eat a lot of carrots. Yes. <laughs> I eat very healthy. I eat a lot of yogurt. <laughs> I was still in high school in 86. <laughs> I wasn't even born. I know. <laughs> Uh, even an idea I wasn't even thought of. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas. Sweet. Oh, uh, Nick, you're playing uh, J. Pierpont Finch, yes. uh, and uh, <clears throat> that's not an easy role. Um, so, what did you do to impress Keith with your? What was in your video? What did you sing? I just had a curiosity. Um, well, I auditioned with "What I Need with Love" from Thoroughly Modern Millie. Okay. Because um, I thought I felt like kind of like grasped the character a little bit. Cause he, the guy in the show is kind of like sneaky and um, in Thoroughly Modern Millie, he's okay. kind of like this like sleazy character. So I thought that, that might bring out the sleaziness of Finch rather than um, just like the good boy's charm. Well, I, and, and I'm curious, are you are you playing Pierpont? Uh, are you playing Finch a little sleazy at all? Or no? Okay, no, okay, not good. not sleazy as in I'll have all my costumes on, uh, uh, no skin showing. Hopefully, you're uh, you're cunning. You're not sleazy. Ooh, I like that word. Yeah. I'm cunning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, should have brought my dictionary. <laughs> or the source. The old girl's got the education. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so sent in that video and then got a callback for Finch and Frump. And so did both those callbacks via video as well. Oh, wow. Okay. So and then got the call two days later. So Fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and because there's a, there was a lot of people gunning for that role. Right. And, um, I know that there's a contract out on you right now, so um, no. Uh, I, I'm I, I for one uh, was very excited because uh, I've gotten to work with I've gotten to work with all three of you, Brenna. Not so much, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, we were. Now I'm kind of coming out of nowhere. I'm, I'm you know crawling my way up from <laughs> from the bottom. <laughs> I no, I don't think so at all. Um, it, it, you know, names and performances and. You, your name precedes you, so um, there's there's been a few things that uh, I, I, there's a few things that uh, I, I wished I could have seen. Um, uh, there was a couple of shows uh, I, I had been banned from the Insurgo when I dropped out of uh, uh, Cannibal the third time, so okay. I did not I did not get to see you um, in King Re John or Reefer Madness. It was just Reefer Madness. It was just Reefer? You weren't yeah. in King John. No. <laughs> Why did I think you were in King John? Because I'm the best. Okay. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Why not? I was going to say, from what I heard, it was a great performance, but whatever. I'll, I'll... Mm, no, yeah, I was in Reefer Madness with uh, Miss Amanda Craft mm -hmm. sitting next to me. Uh, Sally. You can't do Reefer Madness in this town without and, me. Apparently. Yeah, I was going to say, no, uh, <laughs> Amanda's been in every that. production of it. Uh, and you and I haven't shared the stage since uh, Are You Are? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Because I wasn't on stage with you and Annie, so. That's true. Yeah, you get to you get to dance with us a little bit, but... Yeah, and then whatever, Nick. Uh, <laughs> and then I there was still hate you. Yep, I hate you too, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, friends. Uh, uh, oh, no, oh, Nick, Nick, Nick and I go way back. Uh, my first show at Super Summer uh, was with Nick. Yeah. Um, and then uh, um, you and I have done a few shows together. Yeah, Little, Little Shop. Shop. Um, Sweeney. 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 Grateful Dead. Or Grateful Dead. Uh, <laughs> crazy for you. I don't know why I mean, Grateful Dead came into my head. Could that's, be, could be. Where's, where's the bell? That, that's what the bell is for. The bell is, the bell is for those moments when uh, I get distracted and Sean and Eric aren't here to guide me back in. And so the bell is there, much a Pavlovian response. You're on the radio, I'm keep talking. So, um, so, yeah, it was crazy for you. Pulling was, you back on topic. It was. Yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, I, I didn't do Sweeney Talk with you. But we, but did. we did. <laughs> the first one. What was your first show Wait, at, the, at the ranch? My first show? Yeah. Um, my first show was uh, Damn Yankees three years ago. Oh, wow. Uh, the very first show I ever auditioned for in town, I had moved down here. I was doing shows with Second City, uh, or training with Second City, doing improv shows. And I really hadn't gotten back into doing theater simply because um, life, uh, child, wife, um, you know, one of those is no longer uh, relevant. Um, so I was limited with my time. And uh, uh, I had auditioned for Once Upon a Mattress, uh, which was actually at the Farrington Studios way back when. I think John Ivanoff got the role 
that I had auditioned for because the only one I wanted was the king, uh, which doesn't really say anything. So I was hoping to use my improv skills. Blah 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 blah. Um, and then the first show I actually did was Cannibal um, with Sergo, and then later on started doing some other stuff. But yeah, uh, at Damien Keys, Annie, uh, Crazy Few, and mm -hmm. Joseph. So four shows, Wait, three years. No. Yeah, we've all been out at the ranch before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just making sure that was something. That, you know. it, it, is it, this isn't your first time out at the ranch? No, it's not. No, she was my first show. I was uh, cross dressing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I, mean, I was. Uh, the, I do was, tell. I was the fiddler. I, I was the fiddler in Fiddler on the Roof. So last year or two years? It was two years yeah. ago because I had my old nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Oh, we have new vocalist. She's changed a lot. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I, I had to keep listening, and I was forcing myself to listen to the cast recordings, mm -hmm. and and I couldn't get into it. And it wasn't until um, I'm trying to think of who somebody sent me a copy of uh, the the libretto. Um, oh, she was in Hairspray last last year. Um, and she's, who is she playing? Uh, Penny. Um, well, yeah, thank you. Carly Pressure. Yeah, there we go. Carly. Sorry, Carly. Car <laughs> thank you, Carly. Because uh, I know she's listening right now. Uh, Carly right. Uh, sent a copy of it because uh, she had just done production of it. Uh, right. So I had mm -hmm. gotten a copy of the libretto and I started reading it and I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, well, that song sounds more fun now. Okay. And so by the time I got through it, it's like, okay, this show will be fun. Um, with the music in there, um, because there are some shows where you just like you listen to the music and you get bored, um, and the costumes are pretty and everything, but um, you, know, you just want there to be more. Um, so the choreography in this is is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Oh, it's, <laughs> it, it demands attention. It's one of those things where there's so much. In in some instances, there's so much going on that you. Just there's so much to pay attention to. There's so much to watch. There's it's like so a circus show. It's not. It's not. It's great. There's so much stuff. It's going not on. distracting, is it? Oh no, not oh, at all. It's okay. not in this. It's one of those things. Even in rehearsal, I, I'm. Well, I will sit there and I stop, you know, talking to Amanda or I stop talking to Taylor Henderson or anyone else that's in the show, or and I just I'm watching, especially Brotherhood of Man. You guys are. Well, that, that's your a, that's the signature. That's the signature show. Shong. Signature show. Signature show. So close. Um, so close. It's, yeah, sorry. That's, <laughs> that's why I didn't get cast as Bigly. That's the character choice I came up with. You're a teeny. You're a hard of gold. <laughs> well, and the best part about having um, like Daniel and Keith is that with like two mimes working together, it's like you have they mimes see, in the show. I said mimes, but okay. if you heard mimes, that's fine as well. Um, <laughs> but do a musical in mimes. <laughs> I'd love to see the choreography for Brotherhood of Man with mimes. Yeah, right. Um, but they really um, like if something isn't really working, they know exactly how to fix it, and it's really it's a really easy like transition of fixing. So that's the one of the easiest things about the rehearsal process is like how much energy and time goes into the choreography especially and you like get two months so you get two sets of eyes looking at it mm -hmm. exactly and so they know it works and they know it doesn't work so that's what's been really kind of interesting is yeah. seeing that whole process come together with you know you'd think that they'd clash but they really don't they just kind of go off of each other and well and and and, and i would trust keith uh to surround himself with uh, actors and musicians and choreographers that he knows uh, and his work with and trusts because mm -hmm. that's how you end up with a successful you know, show is you know, bringing in the best possible people. So um, obviously, um, <laughs> yeah, they did. I'm sorry, that wasn't on camera. Obviously. Um, so, uh, what's the size of the cast? Because um, you know, Music Man. It seems every year somebody is fighting for. We've got the largest cast ever. We you don't. know, we do not. We do okay. Not. Yeah, we well, because uh, you know, two years ago, Annie had like forty plus the dog, Whoa. and then this year, Music Man had like fifty-seven or something ridiculous. What if we got like twenty? I was gonna like, say like twenty-three, twenty-four. I felt like, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, like it might have. I heard. I, I thought that I remembered Keith saying, you know, you know, there's like twenty. Eight of you, or something. Okay. Well, no, and, and, and I'm curious because the show could very well be very large um, with a lot of you know uh, office workers and whatnot. Uh, the same thing with the producers; uh, the, the cast is fairly small for the show. The well, show there's, so. there's a lot of characters that kind of will come in second act or only be there in the first act, like Twimble, or you know that mm -hmm. that you know could seem Ste like there's Stephen a lot. Rink. Yes. 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 yes he's Love wonderful. Him. <laughs> oh, he's so great. So you know, there's there's this. A lot of people that would come in and out, so it feels like there's not a lot, but there might, like, in the finale when we're all there, I feel like maybe that's... And also, I mean, there's just so much going on aesthetically with the set oh, the and set. the lights, and, and we're all in bright, it's... solid colors, and I think if we had that many more people on stage, it would just make you a little nauseous. Okay. Right. And, such and, a fast and now, uh, are, are, are we going with, uh, like, an art deco type? Uh, I know you can't give too much away, but, you know... <laughs> um, Especially since none of you have to do anything with the set build. I'll right? say, because you wouldn't be here otherwise. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you about our set. I'm just going to say colorful okay. and Monsters Inc. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to put it out there. Ooh, yeah, very easy. I like, like that. That'd be nice. You know what I'm I saying? I love that. When you see it, you uh, well, get it. Yes, I know, I know Nick loves that. Who's <laughs> playing Mike Wazowski? Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, wait, that would be. Well, uh, who, uh, who, else is, who, else, uh, who else is in the show? Because you've got um, you got Scott Gibson, mm -hmm. uh, you've got Taylor Henderson. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned Stephen Rink. Mm -hmm. uh, Big Lee is Michael Brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Kat Doyle, Teddy Larue. Okay, Kat and she's great. Who's too. who's playing Brett? Joshua Keaton. Keaton. Oh, okay. Keaton. Oh, he's Keating. gonna Keaton. Keaton. Keating. 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 Yes, uh, he, yeah. just, he was. He just did Pippin. Yeah. Um. And then uh, who else we have? Um, Nikos is Nikos. Yep, Nikos. 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 Okay. Jones. Yep, the uh, secretary. I think that's about it, isn't it? And then um, the ensemble, the ensemble of course, whatever. which ensemble. which we do They're have amazing. an incredible ensemble, especially like I don't I haven't really worked with the women's ensemble, but the men. On, uh, uh, the Jonathan show. Tawala. You've got uh, oh, Jamar. Yeah. Is Jamar? Yeah, yeah Jamar. 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 So Love Jamar. <laughs> um, uh, Jordan. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jordan, Jordan, Hines. All the Jordan Jays. eBay. Um, he was in Hairspray oh, okay. last season. Because I know the other Jordan is got roped into Legally Blonde. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, David McFarland is Womper. Oh, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. He was uh, Horton. Yeah. Was yeah. Oh, fantastic. Did um, uh, we say Kevin? Oh, Dylan. Oh, Kevin. Oh, right, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin! Kevin is, is stepping out. Yeah, he's taking off his stage manager hat. He's gonna Kevin, Kevin Britton? Britain? Yes! He's taking off his stage manager oh, hat. Oh, you know what? We need, we need to take a break. <laughs> um, I, I'm completely uh, in shock at the moment. Um, Kevin Britton, if you're listening, um, call us. 221 <laughs> SAVE is the number here if you have uh, any questions or. Uh, uh, if you want to talk with uh, any of our guests this evening, we're, we're going to take a quick little break and we'll be right back with our fantastic guests, Brent Folger and Amanda Kraft. And, and, and. Love you so uh, Love you so much. Uh, and, and, and one of my great friends, Nick King. We'll be right back. You listen to Curtain Call. Hey, it's Andrew Keenan Bolger. I play Crutchy and Newsies, and you're watching Curtain Call with Eric Wall. Perfect timing on the break. Hey, Sean. Hi. 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 Did you get my text message? Uh, if I did, it's still sitting here. I am very sick. I'm I am oh. like. I am like you want to see if we can we are doing a musical. Here. So. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, uh, see, if, see, if, see if Chris can tell me which one it is to patch you in over there so that. Because um, I don't want to get everyone sick. You can get these guys sick. That would be hilarious. No! <laughs> yeah, but like, do you want me to come or not? Oh, yeah, I, I, obviously, but um, if, you, if you feel more comfortable setting up in there, yeah, just holler over at Chris. Do you want me to bite now? Um, no. Just it like even hurts to like even like tap. So we're what did you do? Finger? I have an ingrown finger. Yeah, finger. It hurts so bad. Except from finger. having to zip up those red pants. You like them? I like the green ones better. So. Justin Bieber wants my green shorts? Oh, uh, I love my green shorts. They're four dollars. Some people can pull that shit off. Hey, yes, I just said shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet tomatoes food is fresh from the farm to your fork yes. and made from scratch Who? every single day. Who? Fucking butt. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. But. Totally can we just talk about how much you love butts? How about that? I love butts so much. I'm well you have a mask? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, and I'm still and coughing. <laughs> Totally up to you, sir. I mean, uh, are they? Are you guys planning on staying the whole menu? Visit www.tomatoes.com. It's two hours, seven days a week. So we go to eleven or at twelve midnight. Indulge and enjoy. If there was no one else here, then quite possibly. Okay, we just leave naked. If you guys, if you guys were, which you're not obligated to, if I have to cut the show an hour short. Get real. You don't have to knock yourself out for it. Take small steps. Talk to your healthcare provider. Well, that's why. Honestly, guys, would you rather me not get days a week and eat your rather not take care of diabetes? Because I'm like crazy. Call one eight hundred four. We do have to open a musical on Wednesday. Now just forget real. Sponsored by the Nevada State. I'm sorry, buddy. I came in. You showed up. I tried. You're fine. You're fine, sir. Go home. Go home. Be well. All right, guys. Unless you want to say hello real quick. Hello, All right, uh, we're back, and uh, we're back, uh, just the four of us. Um, uh, Sean is ill this evening, and Eric is ill in, uh, on his van, uh, dealing with, I don't know how many kids, um, at least 
50. All of them, the entire Faith Lutheran uh, class uh, coming back from what you call it, uh, National Thespian Conference. It's late on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, so, sometimes it's just like, uh, brain, think, quick, bell! <laughs> So uh, we, we are here in the studio uh, with Nick King, Brenna Folger, and Amanda Kraft. Um, three of uh, some fantastic actors here in Las Vegas getting ready to open up uh, the second show for Super Summer Theater out at Spring Mountain Ranch. Uh, the show opens on July 10th, uh, runs Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, curtain is at dusk. So the the ranch opens at around what six, mm -hmm. uh, and then so you can just uh, get there around six, find some space on the lawn since it's not assigned seating. Uh, bring your picnic, bring your uh, drinks, bring whatever floats your boat out there, and enjoy some fantastic theater under the stars. Um, we'll be running for three weeks, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. And you can you can get tickets uh, ahead of time. I guess Music Man sold out a number of performances. Congratulations to that oh cast. Um, and uh, tickets in advance are $12 if you go to um, unlvtickets.com uh, or you can go through supersummertheater.org and click on the links there to purchase tickets. You can, however, drive all the way out that 18 mile drive down Charleston up through uh, <laughs> Spring Mountain. Or if you like Blue Diamond and want to pass by Bonnie Springs and come up the back way and pay $20 at the gate. By all means, do so. Uh, if you enjoy that uh, long drive and possibly getting up to the top and having somebody in a nice orange vest saying, sorry folks, but the moose outside should have told you we were full. Uh, <laughs> anyone know the reference? No. Nope. Just trying to make you happy. I'm, I'm, I'm Amanda knows days. the reference. No? No. This is my look away and shame. No, it's... Uh, Again, from the a little bit earlier on in the show, you... Where you graduated high school before I was even thought of, so I doubt that I know and, what you're talking and about. Still, no one's thinking of you. That's from National <laughs> National Lampoon's Vacation. They went to Wally World. I know that. Yeah, and yeah, Wally Wally was the moose, and John Candy was at the from the gate, and he's like, "Moose outside, should have told you the park was closed." Yeah, I think I saw that in a museum or something. <laughs> and camera oh, off the. Come alive! Come alive! <laughs> I'm gonna keep the camera on YouTube because. Because um, we're dead sexy. Ooh. About well, that. <laughs> Brennan is doing a little bit more I, for you. It is warm in here. Oh, right, no, yeah. I, Actually, I brought a shirt for you guys. I'm a sweaty tone. Oh, that's uh, good. That's wonderful. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's my favorite word. Yay. All right. Launch. Well, <laughs> uh, yes, and and for those of you, see, this is why you you watch the show on. Oh, it's backwards, and that's <laughs> learn to read backwards. Learn to read Come backwards. On. Put put the put your YouTube in the mirror, and uh, you, you can see what <laughs> was on your shirt while you're taking your selfie in the mirror. Just yeah. turn your laptop on. Do you guys take selfies? I've taken a few in the past few days. Brennan took like three during while we've been sitting here. No, not <laughs> pictures. It was a Snapchat. I was saying to my friends, being like, tune into this thing so we can listen to me friend talk. Hi, friends. If you're no, uh, uh, you'll have to forgive me. What's the difference between Instagram and Snapchat? Snapchat is uh, you take a picture and then it's got a timer to it. So it'll send the picture to somebody, but they can only look at it for five to eight seconds. And I then think. it disappears from the web. And then it's just then it's gone. gone. Forever. Unless, it unless they're total creeps and they uh, take a screenshot. Snapchat. Screenshot. But it'll tell you when screenshot. they've taken a screenshot. Yeah. yeah. So that's what, that's what I did. And, I and all those posts you delete from Facebook when you typed them in an angry rage and mm -hmm. posted mm -hmm. and then decided to erase them later on. That's what Tumblr is for. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> um, no, was, so, so Snapchat is basically I'm taking a picture and it will disappear from the web because it, will, it won't be captured uh, indefinitely. Can, right. So it's anyway, I, snapped, I was Snapchatting some of my friends, like even to a concert. And Kevin Britton, who we talked about before we went to the break. I was, I was like, yeah, yeah. Thanks for calling in, Kim. Uh, uh, he, he's sweet. probably he's, he's probably he's, busy. He's probably, he's probably got more important things to do. Uh, like, speaking of an important things to do, Amanda, uh, where are you finding time to do all your important things? Uh, because well, you, you've taken over, uh, <laughs> I don't know, head of marketing, social, 
officer. We face just say marketing director, marketing director. But if you want to say all those wonderful things, well, you're more than you, welcome you to. You pad your resume that yes. way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the queen of marketing. No. Um, yeah, I'm working marketing at the Onyx Theater. Mm -hmm. They kind of were like, hey, we need some help, and you've always come, you know, been here for us, so he won't come leave, on down. So. And <laughs> <you don't leave. laughs> yeah. So that's the third job that I've taken on, and so I have three jobs and a show, and sometimes I sleep, hanging upside no. down from the rafters. Oh, the <laughs> yes. Well, the, the second the second job is um, weddings at Cosmo, right? Yes. Now you you are ordained. I am. I am an ordained so minister. You could, I am a Jewish reverend. You could marry all three of us. Well, I mean, this isn't legal yet. No. We need your marriage license first, but yes, I mean, technically. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Let's do that. Right now? Yeah. You're married. <laughs> no, I, 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 how, I mean, I, what, what does it entail up with it? Because I've, um, I, I vaguely remember being married. <laughs> Of being ordained or just that chapel in general? Because we're kind of unique at the pop-up chapel. Well, yes, <laughs> you, you can marry dogs to cats. Yeah, we uh, do fake like, weddings. Yes. Oh, we do pet weddings, cat fake cat weddings, oh, real yeah, weddings. Okay. But, 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 but you are able to actually do real weddings? Yes, I can do a real wedding in the state of Nevada. In the state of Nevada? Yes. Have you done any yet? No, only because we work with a third-party company, so they come in and do our real weddings. Okay. We kind of have to. We have to let them do it. But if one of them couldn't make it for a late night, then they would. Call so if them. somebody say wanted to get married at the Onyx, yes, you could do which it. Which we could do. Yes. Michael the other day tried to convince me that I want to get married at the Onyx. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking that you know you know Sandra's got her week or monthly. Uh, Cabaret series. I think we need to do monthly weddings at the Onyx. I don't Ooh. see the problem. I don't, I don't, don't see the problem here. We're about to get our liquor license at the Onyx too. Whoa! About time. Ooh. Yep, we're working on that right now. So that'll My be brain just exploded. Great. It'll be really wonderful for business and for weddings. If you like. <laughs> Intimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I know where you can get a lot of party favors. <laughs> yeah. The honeymoon will start yeah. real soon, right? Plenty, after plenty of party favors to the left. <laughs> <laughs> really only for the men, though. But yeah, I gotta say, working with all men is interesting, too. Because at the oh, wedding chapel, man. I work with all women. The Onyx, I work with all men. <laughs> that deserves And, and what's the third job? Uh, I work at Pier 1 Imports. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> come buy candles. Really? Stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, then, then that's totally that's awesome. Uh, which pair one? So we can send everyone. Uh, Silverado Ranch and Eastern. See, just free free publicity. There you go. See I'm how that works. You're doing. So you're not. You haven't done any marketing me. for the Onyx while you're <laughs> sitting here. But oh, pair <laughs> one. Yeah. Talking about the Onyx. Pier one of the Cosmo. Oh, and things at the uh, rack. <laughs> There's the rack too. You, but but you're not doing the publicity for that. That stuff sells no. itself. No. Yes, it sure does. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need my help there. Uh, well, uh, uh, tell, tell us what's uh, uh, going on there because uh, I know the Laramie Project just finished. Laramie Project just finished. We have Trunk Songs, which is coming up. It's being revised uh, July 5th and 6th. Third time? Fourth time? Jay, uh, Jay Joseph and um, Kelly Wright? Yes, okay. correct. Um, and then we have the Twisted Cherry Burlesque going on. Uh, and they're actually coming in, they do a class, and they have oh, okay. their students coming in to kind of, they've taken this 12-week course, and now they're doing their show at the end, oh, so. And is Emily Lauren part of that, or is that, uh, do you know, who, you know who Emily is, right? I do Sh know who Sugar Emily Puppy? and, and okay. I don't think she's in Twisted Cherry Burlesque. Okay. Um, then we have the Love, Love Cabaret, which is all love songs, and then um, Danielle is in that, and you know, Ariana, that's oh. Yeah, she's the stage a name she uses today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Um, and she's in. She's in house oh, okay. business mm -hmm. as well. She's in their ensemble. Um, and then and of course Jonathan, we have Jonathan's in that as well. I believe the last time I checked. The love. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Jonathan is he plays right? Mm -hmm. He plays piano. Jonathan was supposed to do that. I was supposed to do that show. But yeah, uh, and then um, and then running the exact same time as How to Succeed is the Glass Menagerie. Oh okay. Ernie Curcio is directing. Okay. And then you got Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. Bloody Bloody Andrew yeah. Jackson after that. Yeah. And then eventually we'll have... Yeah. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Yes, she is. Hi. <laughs> I do things. I'm around. I say hello. And we've always kind of got cabarets here and there going on. We have the Balloon Master that comes in, um, late, does our late night shows. And those are hilarious and raunchy. Are they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he came, he actually did a show at the Goratorium when uh, Brenna and I used to work over there. And that's how I, I knew of his show. Okay. It was pretty fun. 
I, you're, so you're no longer at the Goratorium then, Brenda? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. I left around. I left. I did their New Year's party and then I left. Oh, okay. Because I wanted to go back and doing shows. I couldn't do it because um, it was evening hours. So. Understood. Yeah. I completely understand. Is anyone who's still there? <laughs> <laughs> do we know anyone that's of still the there? Of the actors in, that you would know, not really. I really don't know anyone. Not really. Who, Nicole Unger is she recently the only left. Oh, she mm -hmm. did she? Okay. Yeah. Um, she was the only one that I still knew that was still there. Do you know the Hitchcocks? Scott no. and Marissa. No. Bloody Mary has returned. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, that's yeah. good. But if you want me to marry you as Dolly, I can still do that. That's awesome. Yes. That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was there for all of a hot minute. So. Yeah. yeah. Bullet dodge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, uh, well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, you guys sing in a moment because it's whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. whoa. Okay, yeah. I was singing that thing on the way. Here. Nothing, 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 nothing like. Uh, <coughs> right. uh, Excited to, for Neil Patrick to be. I want to go so bad. Don't you? So bad. I'll give my firstborn child to see Neil Patrick Harris play Hedwig. I, I I have not heard yet who they're you know. Uh, Can we get sockets? No, no. Well, really. maybe I should get my daughter up there. There you go. <laughs> Because, uh, uh, no, which one? You did the f first one? No, I did the second one. The second one. I did one. the one night only. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Onyx. Yeah. The four-hour mega version of Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Fantastic show. Uh, I saw both of them. Um, I also saw both of them. Well, I didn't see mine, I guess, uh, yeah, but uh, I saw the first one. It was an body, and it was uh, wonderful. They were, they were uh, two, di two different productions, mm -hmm. um, uh, equally fantastic. When do you leave? <laughs> oh, you're still here? <laughs> oh, no. uh, oh, did you bring your DVD? No. I that. I told you I would bring it to you opening night. Uh, yeah, I thought you might actually surprise me. Um, oh, that would have been cute. Uh, when we did Little Shop, uh, he oh. got to play Seymour for a few productions. And uh, there's a DVD of it. <clears throat> I have like eight copies. That, uh, him every, right, but they're every, for every t for archival, archival purposes yes, only. Okay. My archive is missing its purpose. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gotta find my purpose. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I love that. Love that show. Love it. Love it. Love it. I will give you your DVD. I will. I, I, I give you a hard time just because I can't. But I, I thought you might have brought it tonight just for. Uh, I didn't. Oh. I wasn't thinking. There's the face of guilt, folks. If you're if you're looking <laughs> at, at <laughs> your <laughs> YouTube's, that's. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get off of that. One. Uh, so uh, let's let's get back to uh, uh, how to succeed. Um, Nick, what did you do to prepare for the role? Um, because I mean, what do you have? Uh, you've got Matthew Broderick. You've got mm -hmm. Daniel Radcliffe. Right. Um, and uh, Nick Jonas. I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Um, or or uh, Harry Potter, the other Harry Potter. Um, the Darren Chris. Darren Chris, yeah. thank you. Um, I tried to stay away from the Dana Radcliffe um, version, especially like clips and stuff on YouTube, because he's very much like the TV movie actor, and so I feel like all of his stuff on stage, like I feel like he had the role because of the, he had a big name. Because he was Harry Potter. Right, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, and so I'm trying to steer, steer clear away from that. Um, and... I don't really look at other people's version of the show. I kind of just take other inspiration from here and there, like from Mad Men and other things from that time period. Okay, yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah. I, I've been doing my own like characterizations when it comes to the actual show, but um, to like get into character, I've been looking at other things outside of other people's productions, so that way I don't get caught up in doing someone else's show. Now, and you're up at... Um Northern Colorado? Yeah, University of Northern Colorado. University of Northern Colorado. Mm -hmm. uh, go Groundhogs. Um, mm -hmm. It's not Groundhogs. <laughs> but you were so close. Oh, I, oh, I get it. Let's, get it? It's like in How to Succeed, there's like a, a thing. That's Shoot the frog! Shoot the frog! Shoot the frog! So, uh, I mean, have you... Are you putting your education to use at all? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, um, I... I think that one of the most helpful things I learned was verbing um, up in Colorado, like because they're all about um, act I, I, first. And, I, I don't know how to verb. And sing. well, okay, so I know how to conjugate. I'll give you a little like two semester course wrapped up in thirty five seconds. Good, because I don't have the money to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
It's basically like um, each line has a, like you create a verb that you want to do, like to seduce, to acquire, things like that, to really understand why you're saying that line. Motivation. And how it, yeah, motivation. Oh. There you go. Kids call it verbing. <laughs> so, but it, what, it. Excuse me, Mr. Director, what's my verbing for this? <laughs> Anyways, it really helps. And to definitely see, like, um, to put, like, at the beginning of a scene, like, what do I want out of this whole entire scene? Like, why am I entering a room? I, like, write that down, and that helps me, like, really um, focus on my goals as a character. Okay, so you, you really go breaking down. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes, definitely. Ladies? Raw talent. Yeah. <laughs> High five. I don't even. High five. I show up. I've never up. been learning my lines. I just had to kick them out of me. She knows what she wants all the time. You walk into a room and Keith's like, Amanda, you say whatever you want. <laughs> Except for that. I have gotten censored in this show. That's very true. Uh, yeah. Well, we are, you know, we are a family show. So we did have to censor some lines. Can you imagine the producers? I, I can. Really? Have you so, gone through you guys' censoring yet? <laughs> Keep it, keep it classy, keep it happy, keep it happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you have to pat on the back to get a break in this Yeah, time? wow. I love it. Yeah. That's really funny. If you got it, uh, flaunt it, yeah. There's, there's so... <laughs> is it like the producer's junior? Uh, <laughs> like... Yeah, the, the, the internet is for books. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, you know what? Uh, there has been... Uh, if we've only just gotten started with. Uh, just begun. Sorry. No, I love the carpenters. Um, <laughs> Who? The people that lay down carpet? Just kidding. <laughs> just wanted to make light of it. I'm moving this. The gray You've lost your bell injustice. privileges. Yay! <laughs> Actually, one more, one more comment like that, and I just push the button. No, oh. Off he goes. Uh, it, no, uh, Katie K. Hurd has been doing uh, choreography um, forward and. So there's been a lot of the dancing. We're waiting for uh, Topher McAvoy uh, to finish doing Xanadu before we can get him for music. That's um, yes, and so uh, there's been scene work, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, um, but most of it right now is just in the choreography. But um, yeah, there's there's a lot of words and producers that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, um, but it, it, it's the September show, so Joe has not been told exactly what to uh, cut away yet. I'm sure there will be some things, but um, the only one I know is the F bomb. That one has to go. Right, right. So it is Friends. It, it, is, <laughs> it has been turned to sh Frump. 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 Stoop. Stoop. Okay. Yeah, the, the Yiddish word, the Yiddish F word. Oh. My people have a way with words. Flan? <laughs> Is it Flan? Flan. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never heard you speak your native tongue. Well, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Does it turn you on a little bit? Uh, no. I lost unless, my unless you make a good Google. Really, it doesn't does no, work for no. me. Oh, no. <clears throat> it's not working for Nick. Sorry. It wasn't going to work anyway. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. On tree. Yeah, that's been fun. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, Just gonna, gonna. Uh, I, I, you know, sometimes I wish the camera were, were in the right angle. Um, wow. She's so it, kind to me. Well, so you, kind. you guys don't have to do too much in that show, do you? I mean, well, we kiss once. Yeah. Twice. 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 Thank you. Yeah, it's that's why it's called theater. And that's why it's acting. So. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's he's doing a really good job pretending like he's attracted to me. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a lot. But then I think of her as the fiddler, and it just really helps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know. To confuse people in my day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Boy, that was almost as bad as, uh, finding out that Kevin's singing. Oh, Kevin! And dancing. And, and dancing! dancing. Yep. And he's and doing really good job. And jokes and jokes. Oh, and yeah, he's, he's, he's speaking. But he's not, he's not managing anything. No. no. He's literally he does just move set of, pieces. Yeah. Well. So he has so a little bit do. of his element. I would, figure, <laughs> every, I would figure everyone would be, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Amanda, your character Smitty. Uh, you know, how would you kind of equate her? Because you know, she is Rosemary's counterpoint. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bestest friend. Ooh, friend in the office. Yeah, Smitty's kind of the the nerd. Um, okay. So typecasting all the way. Um, she's not really interested in in getting a man. She's happy with who she is. She's smart. She's intelligent. She has a line about she's got a mother at home. She supports. So when she sees Rosemary all about this this Finch boy, she says, "Okay, I'm gonna help out my friend. I'll get them to I'll get them together." So. Matchmaker. Pretty much, yeah. So you're playing a Yenta. I guess. <laughs> Go matchmaker. Going back to the ranch. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's that's, that's Smitty in a that's, nutshell. I mean, it's the short version. Yeah, I mean, if you want, like, the... And then she went to this college and... No. Well, no, I... I For the I, most part, it, she is... she her char The character is there to get these two together. Okay. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. And I have fun songs, and I wear bright yellow, so you can't miss me, and I'm blonde. Yeah, she's gonna be blonde. Ah. Uh, it's a wig. Uh, sorry. No, it's all right. I made that mistake once. Well, you dyed your hair once for a show? When I played Mary Lane the first time, I bleached my hair. Awesome. It looked good. Yeah? <laughs> but I'm sure it was just a... Uh... And then you can tell I permed it when I did the Awesome 80s prom. That hasn't no, That hasn't grown <laughs> out there. <laughs> nope. Wow. The things you do for your art. So yeah. when they told me I was wearing a wig, I'm like, yes, all right, whatever you want. I yeah. Wig, that's fine. Oh. My, my first wig we tried on, I looked a lot like Hillary Clinton. That's Everyone, it was so great. All the, all the women looked like they report the news. It was wonderful. Uh -huh. It was fabulous. Oh my god. Who's team? Is, is, is Alda doing the works for you guys? No, no it's, it's, not it's a uh, company that is off of Rainbow and the 215, and they do like theatrics like for like wigs, hair, and makeup. <clears throat> um, and they're incredible. Oh, the, the wigs are, for the show just, are they, they absolutely all the, beautiful. Like, lace front. Just, I mean, yeah. gorgeous. They, they, Defy gravity, so to speak. Literally. Literally. They go in all these crazy directions. You float off your heads. Yes, it's wonderful. Awesome. Uh, and, and Brenna, for, for your character, Rosemary, um, mm -hmm. I, how did you get yourself into... Because it, it is, like Nick was saying, uh, similar to like Mad Men, where you know, it's, it's not modern. You guys aren't doing the modernization of it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an, in an era where women are subjugated. Um, mm -hmm. And... Obviously, I'm sure you come across that here and there, but for the most part, you know, in today's day and age, that's not something you normally deal with, or at least I hope not. No, I've uh, I've been able to keep all of my male friends in check. <laughs> well, I, I'm, wonder, I'm wondering how I'm wondering how you. I mean, obviously, yes, it's it's acting. We're skilled. We 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 do our research. But how do you put yourself into that? position of where it's okay to be that submissive, especially for Nick. Um, <laughs> I love him so much! I, I, I mean, you know, what kind of steps, you know, what what do you do to prepare? I mean, I, I, I guess... Research, it, it, is, it does have to do with the research. A lot of it has to be, you know, you have to have an understanding of where we were coming from back then. Where women were coming from back then. What we were doing. What our goals were. Because back then... Most women, their goals weren't, you know, getting ahead in business and all that jazz. They were more so. I'm like Rosemary. She's not a weak character. She's a lot of people were thinking to play her weak. You know, okay. it's Rosemary. She just falls in love with this guy. She's well, it, it, <laughs> that's yeah. the easy way to look at it. Yeah. But it's not that at all. It's that she knows exactly what she wants, and she wants. So the job that the job the that the job that she has is a means to get herself. Essentially, yeah, but yeah. I would see it. it's very. The, I always kind of thought of it as like a thoroughly modern Millie type thing, where she was, she got into the place where she wanted to be because she saw someone that she wanted. But that's not the exact thing. Talking myself in a circle. But the it was the oh, thank you. I need it too. I need the bell too. But it was more so. You know, she she's it. She's gotten to this job as we uh, Keith and I were talking with with character stuff about how instead of more so of a secretary she's very much so like the front desk receptionist person oh, okay. so she knows everyone that comes in and out and that's why she's the first person really to see Finch come in and that's how their interaction happens mm -hmm. so and then she later becomes a secretary and it's a set and the other thing but I feel like it she's been following him the whole entire time because he got 
she he's not discouraged by anything that's happened to him. He's knows exactly what he wants to do by any means he's gonna end up getting there at some point. That he you know, he knows he's just gonna finagle himself wherever. And she really likes that that he's just forward thinking. So and even she has a song Happy to Keep His Dinner Warm. Right. And so that whole I, that whole life is appealing to her. And I don't think it's, there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. No, and that was the time. Right, but right. that was the time. But that's yeah. the that difference the between Rosemary and Smitty, and there's right. that. But there's still that that bond there. But the, they want totally different things out of life. Right, and that's what was so weird is because I'm the opposite. I'm always like, oh, I want to go on adventures. I want to do this, that, and the other thing. So it was very much doing the research and figuring out where we were, where women were back then, and what they and what they wanted, and what they saw as a, as you know the ultimate goal, the white picket fence, and all that stuff, sure. and how they were going to get it, and coming into that and kind of, you know, working myself into that, into my main motivation being that I meet him and I like him and I fall in love with him and he's everything that I have put into my brain and that society back then has put into my brain and my mother and all that stuff and my friends, the other girls in the office and all that stuff. Like in, in Cinderella Darling, how often does it, you know, how often does it happen that a secretary's boss wants, wants to marry, marry her? her? Yeah, That's it's like it's a song. whole big, you know. <laughs> Every it, it goes. It's in the script. It's in the music. Yeah. So as long as I pay attention to what I'm. But that's. Doing. I mean, that's kind of the the. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I mean, that's the stereotype where the boss has the thing for a secretary, and that was accepted. I mean, there's the whole secretary is not a toy. I was going to say but uh, we do have a whole song. We about. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not your toy. Uh, now uh, the the show takes place in the. 1961. 61. Okay, so... Just for you, Keith. 1961. Keith was alive in 61. Weren't you, Keith? And the phone ring. And the phone ring. I was like, did I hear a knocking at the house? No, I... Well, you know... um, Was it? I know none of you were, and uh, I I wasn't yet. I had a good ten years to go. My grandma told me about it, though. Oh, I sent be 21 in like three months, huh? <laughs> Let's see if he'll make it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need to take another quick little break so that our engineer, Chris, can uh, flick a couple of uh, switches in the back and change over some archival media. Uh, we're talking with Nick King, Brenna Folger, and Amanda Kraft. Uh, you're listening to Curtain Call on a balmy Sunday evening at... Uh, uh, what was it outside? A hundred and... Uh. Is it still it's too hot. hot. Melting. Melting? Yeah. So, oh, it's cooler <laughs> inside. Mm-hmm. So, uh, curtain call is cool. How about that? Uh, and we'll be right back after a few messages and stuff. Just like you were, Jen, some TV's friends. Yeah, oh, my God. You're listening to Curtain Call with Eric <laughs> 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 Novelties, a line of products that are as aesthetically pleasing. It's late night. I only got a handful of commercials. (laughs) (laughs) This is great. We have to keep this PG. Oh, please! I don't don't know where we ever got off on anything because last year I had all of them twice. Don't um, forget to mention the Los Angeles Dodgers, Dallas on. Cowboys, or the Los Angeles Clippers, and you will receive a 25% discount. I don't think I got That's Randy with the, Adult the kids. Located on the corner of Tropicana mm-hmm. and Argo. Yeah. That's the only show I didn't see last year. Which one? Oliver. I didn't see that show. Oh, I didn't see Oliver. Um, Oliver was all right. Um, the some, some of the settings changing into World War II, just a great concept. It was just never brought to fruition. It was like, boom, here it is at the beginning of the show, and go back to you know, mm-hmm. drinking water out of the gutter. Drinking water out of the gutter. Uh, you know what? Maybe we got a little ranch raunchy with Joseph. 
because it was Eric and I, and we were both in it. What's last year? What's that? What was out at the ranch last year besides crazy people? Uh, Joseph. And was it Oliver last year? Yeah. Oh. And, um, and Annie was the year And what was the September show last year? That's the one I can't remember. Leader of the Pack. That's what it was. Yes. And we, and we had Rishi. Get real. You don't have to knock yourself out to prevent yeah, I don't I don't know what the steps. Talk to your health care provider. I don't know where Christy thinks we go. Being active 30 minutes, five days a week, and eating healthier. Tell me, Christy, what did we do wrong? <laughs> Please. Sorry. What did we do wrong? <laughs> She's totally focused. I mean, like got the camera focused on YouTube, but, and, even though I can sit and stare at you both right there. Hi. This is Matthew Scott, and you're listening to Curtain Call with Eric Ball. And we're back. Um, my my uh, best wishes go out to partners in crime, uh, Sean Critchfield, as uh, he recoups. I'm guessing he picked up something from one of the other knights over at Excalibur. Um, <laughs> I, I hope he's not having to do Tournament of Kings being as sick as he is. Uh, but uh, he didn't want to get you guys sick, so that was nice of him to yes. Hooray! Great. Spending opening week in the doctor's office. Oh, yeah. that would be wonderful. Happy to keep my penicillin warm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and of course, uh, safe travels uh, <clears throat> to Eric Ball uh, and all the kids and uh, all the chaperones, Cheryl, Emily, and Christian. Um, Thank you very much, all you guys, for, uh, uh, they'll never hear this, but thank you for all the uh, support you guys give out to uh, those kids, because that's an experience that I doubt any of them will soon forget, so, um, and hopefully, do you guys have any experiences like that? Because I did choir in high school, so, I mean, you know, this is one time on choir trip, but, you know. I was on a tumbling trip once to San Francisco, but... <clears throat> That's for another well, time. Amanda was going to talk. Uh, I got all excited. Sorry, I was in the Illinois uh, All-State High School Musical Ragtime. That was awesome. It was like uh, five kids from every high school in Illinois were allowed to audition for it. And, you know, only so many of us got in. And so we would rehearse on long weekends and any time when there was like a holiday, we would meet at um, one of the local schools and rehearse. And it was just cool to meet everyone from all over the state. Some kids were driving six hours to rehearsal. and but ragtime? Ragtime. Yeah, I was just in the ensemble. Ragtime? Rag yeah, ragtime. It's an interesting show to choose. Yeah, for high school. Yes. Hey, it, you know, <laughs> like, you know it was received really well. The performances were outstanding. People well, got lots of scholarships off of that yeah, show. Yeah, so. you, get, you get the best of the best of the best, sure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's like, what, uh, what was it? Uh, the Kevin Smith movie where they did Sweeney Todd in the elementary school or something like that. <laughs> it's um, awesome. I mean, I guess. Yeah. That was, I mean. Well, no, that's cool. Uh, Brenna? I was in Oh, you're still in high school. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't allowed to go anywhere? No, I just, no, I just didn't. Uh, I, I was in choir in junior high school. Um, I was in honor choir, which was, you know, we auditioned for it, and then we got to perform at the UOB. But then I didn't do anything in high school. Um, just blazed out. Yeah, not really. I was just more so like my brother was in theater. <laughs> at, no, not at all. My brother was in theater, and I didn't. When I when I I took a theater class, and even the teacher didn't. Oh, Brenna Folger, are you Sean Folger's sister? I was like, yeah. Uh, you had that. And I immediately like he did a great job, but the teacher didn't like him. And then all the girls would be like, oh, Sean Folger had a crush on him. That's good. <laughs> well, I'm going to go over here now. So I didn't really do anything until a friend dragged me into, um, she was like, just support me at this Bye Bye Birdie audition. Just support me, support me. And uh, I was like, okay. So I went in, and then she pushed me up on stage to audition, and then I got into the musical, and that was like my first musical. <laughs> that was my junior year of high school. So I never really, I went to music camp after senior year of high school, because then I should make up for last time or something. <laughs> it was in Iowa. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wait. Decorah, Iowa. Okay, it's a little bit too. Oh, that's a little bit. 
You ever been to Iowa, Nick? Nope, never been to Iowa. I learned about I corn through Iowa on my way here. Oh, I learned about corn. Meantime, but the Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know things about stuff. Great. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's great. Things about stuff. It's gonna get you a husband. Yep. Uh, where, where'd you Where'd you go to high school here in town? Bonanza High School. We didn't like it either. Okay. For anyone that's groaning, <laughs> oh, it's like we didn't. We were all, oh yeah, it's it, it. literally is still from the seventies. They did not do anything to. No, I I'm it. I'm dealing with my daughter, who is she'll be twenty one in three months. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's uh, going into her junior year uh, of high school next fall, but but she's still up in uh, Overton, um, towards Mesquite. So. Right. Uh, so I got her uh, doing some drama stuff. Uh, here this summer, uh, so that when she goes back, she'll at least have something. Yeah, because no one up there's they don't have any summer programs or anything. So I got they stuff don't. down here. I was I was hoping to get her into doing a show because uh, she was able to do Joseph last summer, which was a lot of fun mm -hmm. for her. So, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, not this year. So. And she made it onto the dance team, so nice. she's, right. got, she's got to go back early to <laughs> be. Not a cheerleader. No. It's dance. It's different. <laughs> Whatever. Well, you couldn't do the stuff that they're doing. Uh huh? I was a cheerleader in high school. <gasps> about a semester. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do theater instead. It, well, you know what? I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do theater till after college. So I didn't do anything until Nick still wasn't born. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. Ninety. Yeah. I was doing theater in utero. Um, <laughs> and I, I was pregnant with. I did not do any theater until 1995. So I was three. That was a good year. Whatever. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, most of, most stuff I'd done was uh, improvisation. So I was doing a little stuff here. And you said you did Second City. Did you do that here? Uh, I, I actually moved. Um, my my family and I moved down here uh, 2002, maybe when uh, Second City was still doing shows right, at the Flamingo. They, yeah, I had, I had a friend. My my friend who's a, he does stand up and stuff. He was uh, he did Second City and stuff, and then they disbanded or yeah. it was done. And yeah, it was it was one of those things where um, I, I wish they had done the full conservatory program like they do in LA and Chicago right. and Toronto. Um, but as it was, uh, they made a lot of good friends. Had a number of shows, you know, uh, in and around town, and uh, still do it on occasion. But because I do so much theater, there's I just don't do as much improv. But um, certainly I'm grateful for the experience. But uh, uh, what about you, Nick? Any uh, any extremely awesome memories from last week when you were in high school? Aww. Uh, I did go to Chicago once on a choir trip to see Wicked and compete in a choir competition. Did you see it with Anna Gasteyer in it? No. Chicago? Mm -hmm. oh, God. Whoa! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was my first time seeing Wicked and that was fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then a few choir trips to, um, what's it called? Uh, Los Angeles. Choir Town. Oh yeah, Disneyland. Ours, ours Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland. Disneyland. yeah. I, I, I missed all of that. Um, my sister graduated four years <clears throat> before I did, and our high school was uh, always ranked uh, in the state. Um, and her senior year in '84, they were nationally ranked, and they got to go to. Um, they performed in the Mormon Tabernacle, which was kind of a oh, big wow. thing because we weren't Mormon. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, we always, uh, yeah, we always had choir trips back, and we recorded two albums, uh, you know, when I was in high school, so, uh, but we always went to, like, uh, Magic Mountain or Disneyland or whatever, and did the festival stuff down right. there, and then, um, snuck peppermint schnapps in our scope bottles, or whatever it is kids did back then. I don't know. I was a good kid. I never did anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember, I remember, uh... Good Lord. Uh, senior year, uh, chamber singers. So we had a, an ensemble, and uh, one of my friends back in high school, I believe he's a minister now. Oh. Um, hmm? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, I think we bought no dos and just see how, just went to see how many different ways we could take no dos. So it got so crushed. Happened. It got crushed and inhaled. 
nose is blessed. I was blessed. in the 80s. I went yeah. too square for all of that. I didn't uh, know that but that it, that it, I spent too much well, it, stuff in it. Ba 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 basi basically, you know, got down to the point where eyebrows got shaved, you know, uh, just ran random things, you know, um, <coughs> running out. The belt? <laughs> yeah, yeah, running, running outside with sheets tied around your neck, um, you know, waiting for the chaperones to, you know, haul you back in. And that's back in the days when you didn't get expelled for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Back then, right? I got detention once in my whole life. I just, I flew so low into the radar that I just, I was just trying to stay out of the line of fire from being bullied so much. So I was like, I'm good. And just like, <laughs> so you, screwed with You my know, mind. bullied bullied today, I mean, that's, that was normal growing up. I mean, I the jocks, crazy. the jocks oh, yeah. bullied the nerds. I was put in lockers. The emo and kids were in drama. I had yeah. trash cans poured on me and my clothes were thrown in the showers in the girls' locker room and yeah, I got beaten up. Oh, wow. yeah. Now look how hot she is. Oh, yeah, Suckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if your brother was so cute, I mean... Well, he's, he was, he's five years older than me, so oh. we never, you know, I would always hear about the stuff afterwards, but I, yeah, I got bullied so hard. It's because I had short hair. Because I was a gymnast and a dancer, and I just didn't even want to throw it up or anything, so I cut all my hair off. So that's where I learned a lot of uh, homophobic slurs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So I, I got beat up a lot, but you know, so I was just like, I'm just gonna do. So I just never got in trouble because I just didn't want to. I'm sorry. No, it's. I have an amazing sense of humor. Way to bring the show down. No, uh, I have an amazing sense of humor now. I'm one of those ding. people that's like, oh, it's like, oh, oh, puppies and kittens, this got, right? This got real. Yeah. Puppies and kittens. Yeah, you're we're listening to Curtain. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I just, you're I just, listening to a very special Curtain call. It's an after school special. <laughs> no, no, I probably wouldn't have been to you in high school. That's okay. fine. Who would play you on the after school special event? Who would play you? Because he was dead. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, an after school special? Yeah. You know, the, the Brenna Folger know. story. The Brenna Folger story? Yeah. Because, I, I mean. Ooh. I don't know. What, what actress would you love to see, you know, cut her hair and have trash put in? <laughs> so you're asking which actress do I hate or what actress do I however, love? However, however you want to verb it. I really have no idea. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Miley. Oh, oh, what are you doing? You're so no, Miley, no. Um, actually, really have no. Actually, idea she has no thought. hair right now, so. She, she's and, and she, there. So and she twerks, which is kind of. Oh, uh, did you? Don't kind of you. gymnastics. I, mean, I, mean, made us watch I cannot it. believe you made us watch. I made, it. made us watch. I made. It. I made uh, had everyone over at rehearsal one night, and I made them and my roommates watch the music video, the most recent one, and it's 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 bad. It's, it's like she opened an American uh, American Apparel catalog and was like, "I want that, but in motion." Go. <laughs> Have it happen. And then someone steps on her. It's amazing. It's just... It's you not amazing. I love, I love watching... I just, I just love watching people make bad mistakes because then I feel good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not that bad. All right. I'm there, gonna be, there is a word for that I, I and be. a song for that. It's called Schadenfreude. It's, it's great. Exactly. Uh, no, hey, weren't we going to sing? Nope. Oh, you guys are welcome to sing. Uh, oh, I, I, go ahead. I've never... <laughs> I, I, I made... I didn't make, um, but uh, <clears throat> last summer... Um, Kids are more open to that sort of thing, mm -hmm. so um, I had to. God, you know, you know, it, it's late when you can't think of people's names Maybe? that you know. No, no, the oh, kids, the kids from uh, Oliver. Oh. Um, okay. I'm gonna, they're both gonna kill me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> they were happy to sing, um, <clears throat> but that's gonna throw me. Nick, that's your name. That's right. Mm, yeah. uh, what's your favorite song that you get to sing for, from the show? Ooh. <clears throat> um. Because I know how they all just roll right off the tongue. So. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, favorite. I don't know. Because I love Brotherhood of Man, but I don't know if I love to sing it. I love to perform it. Like I love the choreography and stuff. Um. Good what about yeah. I Believe in You? I was just gonna say I Believe in You probably okay. because. That's the one that I had a lot of trouble with, like really? starting off with, um, and you it's didn't believe in, in yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, because like I didn't he, know. He made you sing it with a mirror. He did. Actually. Um, <laughs> 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 
Um, but it was just hard because it's so, like, the lines are so comedic, but I didn't want to, like, go too, too funny with it. I still wanted to keep it, like, very realistic and, like, truthful. Yeah. Um, so I really struggled with it, but it's come a long way um, from what I, I think, personally, that it's come a long way. Oh, well, you got a week. Um, <clears throat> it's perfected, so... Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Show ready. You heard it here first. They're opening this Wednesday. Next Nick King. Wednesday, next Nick. Wednesday. No, Nick wants to open this Wednesday. No! <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, how to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying opens July 10th, uh, a week from this upcoming Wednesday. Uh, out at Super Summer Theater, Spring Mountain Ranch. Um, run Wednesday <clears> through Saturday. Um... Gates open at 6, shows at dusk as summer wanes. The curtain will be earlier. I guess when producer starts, curtain will be earlier. Yeah, your yeah. curtain will be pretty soon. Yeah, it'll be like 7-ish. So, so don't forget that, people who go out to see the later shows. <coughs> you show up at 8 o'clock, you'll be uh, miss, missing it's all really the good stuff. Yeah. Um, and tickets uh, in advance, $12.00. Uh, I believe you can probably still get, like, uh, passes out at the ranch, so you can buy, like, blocks of tickets. I think uh, so. Those are sold out, I thought. Oh. Don't know. Because I was on the website the other day looking for tickets for our opening night to make sure, and I think the passes were all, because you can go to all the shows. Yeah. I think they're sold out. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, but you can still <coughs> go Good to... Popular. Awesome. You can still go to uh, UNLVTickets.org. Yeah. Yes, uh, please. Especially oh. the Onyx Theater. Oh, look at how I did that. All right. <laughs> no, <laughs> no the, 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 Onyx, the Onyx Theater, um, you know, aside from LVLT, is one of the staples. Um, you know, Signature has, you know, been coming back with their shows out at uh, Summerlin Library, but that's yeah. been kind and of. I think it's, uh, it's really important to us at the Onyx that we feel like we are a space for every theater production company in town. You know, we don't. We're not here to compete with anyone. We're here to bring the communities together. So we want everyone to feel like they have, you know, this little company that's just starting up and they want to do a show, they're welcome to do it with us. We we love everyone. We want to work with everyone. So, yeah. have, have you guys had any issues, you know, with, I don't want to say saturation, um, but, you know, with, with something like Signature, they do a couple of shows a year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Spring Mountain Ranch. Hey, there's the four shows every summer. But... There is always something going on. There is always something. Going on. Um, and 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 so, there's an aspect of a where the theater is, mm -hmm. um, and what its past history has been. How do you right. get people there every for every show? Because it's because it is such a wide array of productions. Mm -hmm. You're not able to get the same people that will go see the, the Laramie Project right. uh, or to go see Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson exactly. or that went to mm -hmm. see Next to Normal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's a huge... So how do you cross market? I mean, right now... I mean, that's your I mean, job. So yeah, well, and tell I've me been, how you do your job. I've been job. here for a whole, you know, two weeks now, but uh, really mm. it's just social media all the way. Just get the word of mouth out. Everyone like us on Facebook. We have an Instagram now. Um, we're at Onyx Theater. Or e. You don't Snapchat? Um, we don't Snapchat. Why not? Um, That'd be fun. Because the pictures Snapchat, would disappear. Yeah. That could be interesting, the pictures we'd have. Um, you know, you can go on our website too, www.onyxtheater.com. And um, it's, it, Actually, I want to do I want to do a production at the Onyx, just a, a Vine, a, you know, seven seconds production done. <laughs> I, I was going to do that if I had Show time. Show starting at, at 6.55 and we'll end I was going to I was going to do, you know, uh, random photographs and then put them all together and create like a little... Uh, we'll just the, bring the, down entire, the, the entire curtain call in seven <laughs> seconds, which probably would be just as good. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Eric, Eric does... Uh, it, it's always easier when there's more than one of us here because I'm usually over there in the corner, you know, pushing my buttons and, you know, being the smarmy one and oh, randomly interjecting things that I get dumb on I'm the bell. Uh, yeah, uh, but you know, I have to be, when I'm on this side, I have to be responsible and I have to make sure that, you know, the levels are proper, which, they're, they're you know, just adjusting levels. Uh, you know, make, making sure that, you know, I you know, go to commercial every once in a while. And, we love you, FCC. Yeah. Well, you know what, I, I don't even think the FCC listens to me. <laughs> um, you know, uh, 
the station has been very gracious to, to have us uh, uh, be here. And I've been doing it for just about a year now, so it's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. Uh, otherwise, I'd never would, <laughs> I would never come in. Spe especially, you know, being now, um, we decided, you know, it would probably be best if we moved to the later uh, slot because of all the sports stuff going on on the sports channel. We always got preempted or bumped, and so it's just like, well... Uh, now everyone can get out of rehearsal and listen to us a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, 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 and for, you know, for the theater community, um, most people are available Sundays at mm. 10 p.m. They don't necessarily want to be here uh, Sundays at 10, uh, 10, 10 p.m., but, um, you know, the three of you obviously have nothing else to do. Yeah, I'm unemployed, so that's okay. Are you? Yeah, I got laid off. Good Lord. Yeah, after I get hit by a car. This is true. <laughs> and hear. there goes the show. No, I'm, 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 actually <laughs> now, I'm actually now more intrigued. It's like, okay, you were a lesbian gymnast who got bullied in high school. Uh, and then uh, your brother hit you with a car, no. and now you're unemployed. <laughs> no, not my brother. No, he wouldn't hit me with a car. <laughs> no. Why? Is your, is your brother... Oh, don't tell me your brother is dead. No, no. He's a driver for Mr. Wynn. So he wouldn't hit me with the car. I wasn't Mr. on that Wynn. property. Yeah. Mr. Wynn hit me with his car. No. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to drive. He can't sleep. But no, yeah. Well, know. all the more reason why he probably would have hit you. I know. Yeah. No, no. It was fun. No, but I, we got laid off at our job at the at, uh, me and like, uh, John Paul Raniel and all those cool kids. Taylor Henderson. And Taylor Scott. Henderson. Well, Taylor was already kind of moved on to something mm. else. Oh. And Scott. Where? Uh, Scream. Christmas, oh, Christmas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and so, um... I did not realize you had worked at Scream. I was uh, there for a, a while. A while, just a year. But they didn't, they didn't bring anyone back over? Because I know well, seven, they Seven's still working over there. Yeah, but he was in a different position. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but we, we all kind of got brought into a conference room and told that it was done. That's, you know, they... It was one of those things that they didn't think it, it was going to be able to last that long anyway, but we still had a lot of revenue from people buying pictures because we sure. were an interesting thing at the wax museum mm -hmm. and uh you know the time was kind of up for it so we were let go well especially with the goratorium being this yeah as whatever yes that <laughs> so yes. um so it was funny because when I was working at Goratorium and at Scream, I would be in the dark <laughs> listening to people screaming from 9 30 a.m until about two in the two in the morning so I would work at one haunted house and then directly drive to the other one and work there all night. So it was really funny. And I'm who I am. You know, people meet me and they're like, oh, Brenna's, oh, Brenna. You know, there are always cats for Brenna. So when I started at Goratorium, people always were like, no, this is how you scare people. And I'm like, okay, I'll smile and nod. Just let them do that. And then they'll underestimate me and then I'll go in and make somebody wet themselves. So that's what I did. But yeah, no, I've been... Do you do that for how to succeed? I don't know. Do it's I? a different... Yes. <laughs> Especially right after the kiss in Rosemary. Absolutely. Yeah, he, he pees a little. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have a costume change for uh, who's, who's doing you guys' costumes, by the way? It's, it's that it's same switch. The same wig people? Or? Well, it was, no. it was uh, Marissa, Marissa, who does stuff for all this, a bunch of Cirque shows. Mm -hmm. And Tim okay. Evans has been helping us a lot, Yeah, too. Tim has been helping us. Tim Evans is going to be my personal shopper from now on because oh. I am, I'm a very small person so it's hard to find grown up clothes for me and that means I can find suits for me and shoes for me, everything oh, puts yeah. on me fits perfectly <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to put you in my pocket when I go shopping from now on. <laughs> yeah, the costumes that they've come up with have been really, really cool. The mm -hmm. Paris original dress is schmexy to die for. Oh, um, <laughs> 12 of them? Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it. They look very good. Uh, I've never, I've never seen uh, anything but you know a handful of clips here and there. So, um, yeah, with my envisioning of things um, from just my verbing. Uh, <laughs> Go back. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, no, uh, I, 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 I kid Nick because I love him to death. That's very so. true. Um, even, even though I can't stand being in the same room with him. Why did they even pick to do this? Uh, it's I, I always have fun doing shows with Nick, so I'm I, I'm still a little bit bummed about not being able to, to do bigly with you. But maybe um, next year. No, I'm not doing how to succeed next year. Well, okay, I'm just saying maybe we can do a show next year. Okay, well you're gonna be back in town for the third show next summer, right? What's the third show? Spamalot, or not Spamalot? No, Spamalot's the first one. Shrek is the third one next yeah. year. 
So oh, you, you have to send Eric Ball your uh, audition video. Oh, I feel I feel so terrible for whoever has to be Shrek up at the ranch in that heat. Oh, that's so true. I didn't even think of that. I I can tell you any number of people who would be. Oh, they'd love to. Oh, of course, they'd oh, love yeah, to. Yeah. I know. I'm just I'm just saying they're they're gonna get up there and just. Yeah, well, sweat uh, well, the, the the second show. You imagine all those people in the togas for finding yeah. happened on the way to the oh, form. Right. Granted, they probably won't be wearing anything under the togas. <laughs> right. They'll be That's going so full Roman. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not warm yet. Wow. Well, yeah, and even Spamalot, uh, which is the first show. I mean, all that oh, army gold. Yeah. So. I felt really bad for the people, in, even in Music Man, because they had the this extremely the heat warning. Yeah. I I, f I feel bad for the. Who have to wash those costumes? Mm -hmm. I, I just remember we wore not much for um, Joseph last summer, mm -hmm. but because it was nonstop music the entire show, and we were on a thirty-degree rake right. the entire time. And there was some rank. I love Bill Flynn. Uh, he, <laughs> he he got to play um, uh, Maurice. Uh, or Mar Marcellus, not Maurice, Marcellus, uh, and he had my least favorite song in that show was my favorite number in that show, so, uh, shh, poopy. Um, <laughs> but, uh, the, he, he had to wear a leather coat for Joseph last oh. summer. Oh, and oh right. And nothing like smelling human bacon. Uh, oui. Oh, yeah. It's really kosher. <laughs> I got that on. Oh no, I didn't. Darn it! Ah! <laughs> Just me looking over the camera, saying, "What in the world are you doing, Amanda?" I mean, I'm scratching my leg. Well, she had an itchy leg. Okay. <laughs> Am I not allowed? I'm sorry. Well, it, you're on camera. This is a family you're show. Okay. <laughs> so I can't scratch my leg on camera. I'm sorry. No, bro. It's the internet for you. Uh, so. Uh, 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 I, I want to ask the two of you, because obviously I know you're doing Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. Which is right. I, ju I just pulled the cast recording today, so I'm going to give it a listen. Um, I think I have this, uh, the script somewhere. Troy gave me like a year and a half ago or something. Um, so uh, what is coming up at the Onyx? I mean, after Bloody Bloody, are you able to discuss the fall, winter season yet? I don't know. So okay. maybe I shouldn't before okay. I get in trouble? That's fine. I think I, I'm I know, allowed I, to say that we are doing Young Frankenstein. Okay. Hooray! That will be in October. Right. Um, but other than that... Nothing's um, been finalized beyond that? Yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, won't, I, I won't push that. <laughs> yes, okay. <but laughs> uh, and, and Nick, when, when you leave, um, you'll be heading back up you know, to the sunny shores of... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fort... <laughs> It's not Fort Collins. Where it's Greeley. It? Greeley. So just like forty-five minutes from yeah, Fort Collins. Small. small Greeley town. is beyond Big small. Gre Greeley is a pimple on Wyoming. Oh. So. Backside. Yeah. Yep. Even though it's still in Colorado. Right. Uh, so do you know what your season up there is going to be for the college? Yeah. Um, for the musicals uh, in this in the fall, we're doing Oklahoma, um, and. Um, that's where the wind comes Sweeping right behind the rain. On the plane? No, the rain in Spain. It's mainly, mainly in the plane, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've had enough of these, gosh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we are doing Sweeney Todd, steampunk Sweeney Todd in, uh, Whoa, in what? the uh, spring. What? So. Wait, someone remapped Sweeney Todd into steampunk. We got a stupid idea. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'll be interested. To, oh, are, are you gonna go to reprise good. your role of uh, Anthony? Or? Um, I hope so. Uh, this one kid are keeps telling me that I look more like a Tobias, and so I don't know if, whether to take that as a compliment or not because he's kind of a mentally challenged character, kind of. So. Oh, I was going to say the guy who told you is mentally. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that he told me that I fit a mentally uh, challenged character. You know, uh, uh, well, and it depend, depends on the the director's take. Um, right. The, the mm -hmm. production that was just done at the Onyx, um, that was right. somewhat of the take that Brandon uh, chose to go mm -hmm. with. Um, but even from the perspective that Brandon did it, it was through Toby's eyes retelling the story right. after I, mm -hmm. he had gone crazy. So 
he was putting himself in to the story and was already crazy and already uh, old and you know whatnot. So, um, I, hey, if you can sing it, go for it. I um, mean, I would love to reprise my role as Anthony because I love to get it right. Role. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Anyways, no. Uh, Where's my bell? Well, no. I think Nick will agree with me that that was definitely a learning experience. Um, Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I mean, I came in when I did and mm -hmm. did what I could, and we all did. Yeah. So you um, did the one with Ariana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, oh, Ariana. Mm -hmm. well, Which she I worked at Scream. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do. Well, and, and I think she's the only person who has a copy of I that know. Oh, really? too. So, she's Ariana, right now. <laughs> if you are listening, um, I know you, because you and I have talked about this. Um, but, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't talked to her in months, which is kind of a shame. So, um, yeah. And I saw your version of Sweeney Todd twice. Once with you and once with Oh, well, thank friends. you. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I did too. Because, I mean, I've been hearing about that show. I mean, Brandon Burt's been working on that show. As you know, I've been involved with him on and off for six years now. Yeah. And he's been talking about that show forever. So it was really amazing to watch it come into fruition. Well, I I was grateful to him. Um, I had tickets for Book of Mormon. Um, and, and I think he had Chris in mind the whole time, which is cool. Uh, but I had auditioned, and I was adamant about not... I was going to be gone uh, final week, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I, I, I sacrificed my, my marriage uh, for theater and things and wasn't going to with my current relationship, which um, cost me a role, if it did, I don't know, uh, but then the opportunity came back around and he had me re-audition and it's just like, oh please, oh please, oh please, it's like, I can only give you a couple, I'll take it, I'll take it, three, take three performances, I'll take it. Um, it's it's a show that I will do many more times in my life, hopefully. Um, so uh, the opportunity to to do the title role, uh, yeah, that was a great way to start off the year. Uh, so, um, and if I if I do the judge again, uh, it will be it'll be I still have the cat of nine tails next. So there you go. Ah, oh, perfect. I came back. No, I, oh I, my gosh! I I had uh, I made my own. Uh, whip. whip, yeah, if you will, uh, for flagellating. Um, that is a real word, flagellate. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I bought this kid's belt, and I cut the... Uh, I don't know where this is stuck. This I, is I cut the buckle off, and it was one of these leather woven, so it was braided oh, leather. Yeah, sure. So I trimmed one end, unbraided it, and then cut the buckle off on the other end, and folded it and glued it into a handle. And so I had these leather flanges and I was whipping my back during, you know, the, the May Culpa song, you know. Uh, and I came backstage, you know, backstage oh. from Green Valley Ranch and Nick's like, your back's bleeding. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was, oh, I will never forget that. I will never forget that. I will never forget that. Well. Yeah, uh, and with that, let's take another break but <laughs> while everyone listening tonight uh, gets that image out of their head. <laughs> um, You're all going to go to your closet and find a woven belt. <laughs> and, 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 and if you... DIY! I, yeah, I... I, 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 I <laughs> oh my gosh, I could actually do a link from this pr program to Nick's video, his audition video, oh and how to make uh, a cat and nine tails. And how to. Oh, and then we, oh. How to bully Brenna. How to. Oh. Nice little recap there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Seg yeah the mega mix. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Eric, Eric is, sometimes sits here and just looks at me and goes, How did you segue into that? I don't know. Uh, oh, I hope he'll be back next week. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Sarah Salzberg has something to say to you. And you listen to the curtain call. This is Sarah Salzberg um, from Spelling Bee, and you're listening you like to, to talk about Call it? with Eric Ball. I actually probably have to leave. What's that? I probably have to leave. Okay. Bail. If you need to bail, then please. 
feel free. Um, if you two need to bail, then I will probably... No, I can't. Uh, I was able to... I, a couple weeks ago, I was the only one here. And because none of us were able to get any guests, and so I'm sitting here, I'm reading stuff off of the web. Oh, yeah. um, just like praying because Eric was just like, Eric never showed up and he had fallen asleep. And uh, Sean was, um, oh, where was Sean? Sean was coming back from. Uh, Are you sick and Sean tired was coming of back from door going King, up so and then forgetting it down or going down or coming after back up on its own? Two kids like, knocking their motion sensors around. Take my spot. Yeah, All right, it's a nightmare. Okay. Custom okay. Heart Through Door is here to help. They are your one-stop shop for garage doors, garage door openers, and repairs. Great service deals all the time. Also, you can't be custom hard oh, door and not do fireplaces. <laughs> they provide like high quality um, wood burning and gas fired fireplaces. Fireplace inserts, Kevin's and stoves, being a chimney what? systems, and yeah, accessories. He's like, uh, custom Heart he was, features the best brand names. He was like, you need to get down wherever we are right now. He's like, your boyfriend got hit by a car. And I'm like, that's not funny. <laughs> so I think he's joking, but I have to be. Plus products from Real okay. Fire, Craftsman, Fire Magic, and Lennox. Oh, right. Call yeah. Custom Heart and Door at 6. Six five seven twelve eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's six five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just can't. Terrible things happen behind the desk. Custom dash. Oh, that's how you got on the first place. Custom. Yeah. Oh. Dot com. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, <clears throat> I lived right near the reservoir. Uh, oh, really? Mountains. Yeah. Oh, right near funny. Horse Tooth. Um, no way. I just went kayaking right before I left. I yeah. went kayaking in that reservoir. Yep. Yeah. So bored. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> uh, my, my, my back, um, from my back bedroom window, I could look over to the drive-in drive theater, so I would just, I, oh, could, wow. I could just sit right on. out and turn on the radio and in that's my still house. there after, what, 45 years since you've been there? Um, since you grew up? Right? 50, maybe? Yeah. Um, Pushing 50? Yeah. <laughs> 42. <clears throat> Oh, I'd, I'd turn the camera off of you, but <laughs> both of them are now on you, so I could put it on me, but I'm I, I'm always weird. Even when I'm doing, when I'm sitting over in the corner there, I rarely put the camera on me, mm-hmm. so it's just like I'm the one talking right now, so I should have the camera on me. With the great but, and powerful uh, odds. But I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't, I, it, it feels very misogynistic maybe to sit there and, no, wrong word. Oh. Yeah. Misogynistic is... Me degrading women. Yeah. Sorry. Conceited. Uh, Self-centered. Yeah. Uh, narcissistic. Narcissistic. There we go. That's, That's it. Yeah, coming up with those Personal words today. Personal right Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, so and, and that and that's you know that's Very smitty. that's what I was kind of thinking of when you were, were talking about um, the song "I Believe in You." Um, you know, having to sing it with a mirror because mm-hmm. it is somewhat of a narcissistic, you know, boosting your own morale right. kind of you know song. So. Um, it's the pep talk. It, it is, um, but it, it's kind of weird, you know. Simply because you know the whole the whole time Finch is he's playing everybody, and you know obviously gets thrown for a little bit of his own a little bit of a loop. So. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's the one time you see like actual vulnerability from him. Like you, know, you kind of see it with Rosemary once he like you know um, confesses his love for her, but. It's really during "I Believe in You" that you see what he's truly feeling yeah. inside, and it's really letting the audience know. Exactly because what because there there's a way to play because you can easily play Finch as as an unlikable character, right? Um, and you know, naturally, I can see you doing that mm-hmm. because no one likes you. Um, <laughs> We've got. We've, I mean, we've. Got oh, I didn't even get that on camera. Dang it, I, don't have, I don't know why I had that on me. Turn it. I say we have a villain character, though. So yeah. You know, you need to know. What Frump? Yeah, Frump is technically yeah. the, the villain, so mm-hmm. you kind of have to be the the opposite of that, or and, we just hate everyone. And that's and, and that's Scott. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Scott, mm-hmm. but Frump. Very cool. Uh, again, uh, well, speaking with two of the remaining cast members from. Uh, how to succeed in business? Opening up. Uh, what's the name of the production company? It's First, first step. step. I was thinking Step First, and I was like, no, that's not right. First Step, um, directed by Keith Dodson. Um, Super Summer Theater, Spring Mountain Ranch, opening July tenth. Tickets uh, on sale now. Um, Twelve dollars in advance. You can get them from uh, UNLVTickets.com. You can also go to SuperSummerTheater.org and go through the ticket purchasing process there um we'll post nick's phone number up on the facebook page so you can order your tickets directly from him 24 7 um please do i'm looking forward to yeah (laughs) every call yeah Yeah. you're staying with your grandma yeah she'll love it oh she's that's great um (laughs) um tickets 12 in advance at the gate 20 uh i'm looking forward to i'll be there opening night uh so don't suck i'm trying all the stuff. Yep. <laughs> no, I, I'm just hoping the weather is a bit more tolerable for you guys because I no. know how miserable the heat can be there. And you guys are going to have to put up with it uh, at least for a few days. So, mm-hmm. uh, and drink plenty of water, please. Yeah. That goes for anyone listening because um, this show is brought to you by water. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are all 80% water, so. I'm 85. I'm, I'm older. Sorry, Your Majesty. That's true. As, as you get older, more of you becomes water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things just start to. Things just start to liquefy. <laughs> Your teeth. Yeah. Well, you you lose all the hair, so. That's true. So percentage-wise, more of you becomes you know. The white. I'll buy it. My ex-wife got most of the water in the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, you know, we usually degrade uh, to to frivolity uh, around this point in the show because we've run out of interesting things to talk about, um, which I'm surprised didn't come around earlier. Nick. I know. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm really excited to have both of you here. Uh, Amanda, I love you to death. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that, um, you know, uh, you're, you're working there over at the Onyx and uh, um, crossing, crossing my fingers for, for Brandon. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I intend to do a bit more than crossing my fingers. Um, yeah, hasn't, send those letters in. Yeah, it hasn't, got, hasn't gotten there yet. Um, it will. Um, but, uh, and Nick, obviously, I'm thrilled to death for you. Um, you know, some some opportunities for you. So uh, it's it's a great it's a great role for <clears throat> for your resume. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you grow up and be able to do real adult roles, that'll be nice. Um, I'll save you a front row seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That just says reserved I'll, for the person I hate most. Yep. Good dough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sean, Sean at this point would typically ask uh, if you could be a superhero, what kind of, what would your power be? So, uh, Teleportation. Really? I thought about this a lot. Yeah. No, 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 I'm, cu <laughs> I'm curious, because I, I would always fear of, you know, teleporting into something solid, and next thing you know, I'm, you know, made up of 50% water, 50% masonite, you know. Well, now you just blew that up. <laughs> I thought it was a great idea. <laughs> no, no, I, I always love, I always love the idea of teleportation because A, saves on gas. Saves on um, gas. Um, you, you teleport, you know, to work, you punch That's in, true. teleport back home, go back to bed. <laughs> I actually, like, I mean, do you want me to, like, lay down on the couch and talk about it? Mine comes from just, like, my travel anxiety, actually. Like, I'm not a really big fan of traveling or not, be, I like to be at home, um, had a lot of bad experiences once I've gone on trips. And, and how does tele teleportation so, make it any easier? Because you can go there, do what you want to do, and then immediately go back to where you feel safe. You can be like, I want to go to Greece. I'm going to be there for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to go home. And I don't have to spend 24 hours on a plane. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I was listening to the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the reality has set in. There it is, folks. You heard it. You heard that here first too. Of course, tonight first. Yeah, it's been said many times. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think I think most people tune in and watch the uh, the YouTube thing. So, um, and I. And, I will say that there are students of Tim Burris and Eric Ball and Michael Kim who listen to the show or watch it or, or something. Do they get extra credit? Uh, I don't know. If you name me to your teachers, you get extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, well, all right, Nick, what would your superpower be? I don't know. That's Chest hair? <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> so much. I'd ask you to stand up and show everyone your red pants. I can. But that would actually indicate that you are wearing superhero. This outfit is Justin Damn. Bieber approved. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take it off right now. Just for that. Ouch. Oh, and be is more. And be Miley hat. Cyrus approved. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, so um, special. Oh, so special. I don't know. I, I, when I think of a superhero, I think of the TV show Heroes. And, um, okay. Yes, are, uh, also good. Can we just talk about Zach Zachary Quinto for the next? Oh, uh, and how he's going to be in a new. Uh, oh wait, that's the wrong character. But I do love him. I th was thinking of Chuck. What's his name? Zachary. Oh, uh, I've never seen Chuck. What's his face? I forget. We'll I don't. I don't watch a whole lot of TV, which is kind of sad. I used to when I had time. I watch Netflix. That's all. I was going to say I watch a lot of the same TV over yep. and over. Like I've seen the entire series of The Office and Thirty Rock. And Parks and Rec, probably seven or eight times oh, each. Good Lord. Like, it's just, uh, that's what I do. Same with Desperate Housewives and <laughs> Pretty Little Liars for me. So. Well, some people get up during the day and they listen to music while they do things. And I, like, Sophia the First. I yep, I exactly. I want Netflix on while I'm. Uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, where, where I live with uh, my girlfriend, so Disney Channel is on a lot with her oh. kids. Uh, and I've come to find out with my daughter staying with me this summer that she likes reality shows, which I despise. Uh, I, I, I can see, you know, um, 
I've been yelling at the TV, just these... There was this one, the one reality show where it was like uh, four women who are all getting married go to each other's oh, wedding yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. and they judge yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the whole thing is like, oh, well, her dress was just like... Blah, blah. And it's like, that's the dress she wanted. This is her wedding, mm -hmm. not yours. Oh, the food the, was. Oh, that, the, the food, food is was my so, favorite part. The food was so ethnic because she's so ethnic. I was like, they didn't have a lot of yeah. choices for us white folk. Yeah, they got some crazy bride shows. There's like the bridal plasty, mm -hmm. where the brides that is compete ridiculous. for plastic surgery for their wedding day. I think it's crazy. That's it's not real to me. Goodness. It's not real. None of that's real. Mm -hmm. Why no, is it and called it's not, reality? No, I mean they were trying. They actually were filming. We filmed the pilot for a reality show at the Goratorium. And, mm. yeah, many times they're like, oh, Amanda, can you say that again? Can you be a lot meaner when you do it? Sure. Right. Like, Come yeah, on. well, that's, there was the whole thing with the writers, uh, the writer's strike a couple of years mm -hmm. back uh, because there are writers for reality shows. Yeah. I'm like, what? How is that possible? Well, they have to make it interesting for, you know, the, right. the, the people watching. I actually kind of, there's, uh, NBC's doing a dramatic show called Siberia, and it's like, okay, that's kind of cool, mm -hmm. uh, even though it's not reality but then there's the Who Done It one on ABC. Oh, it's just I like, like I like. That I show. always mm -hmm. loved. Um, was it the Running Man, the short story by Stephen King? Um, any relation? No. Okay. Uh, my dad's know. name is Stephen King. Um, yeah, I, I went to I went to school with a guy named Stephen King. Also, <laughs> not the same. My dad's name is Robert Kraft. He owns the Patriots. <laughs> I love your macaroni and cheese, by the way. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, you know that's not originally our last name. We shortened it to Kraft. What was it, Kraftenstein? <laughs> Close. Kirschenzaft. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, needless to say, what my was it? What, what? Kirschenzaft. I love that. I actually. Cherry juice or cherry tree? One of those. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cherry juice in German. Yeah, um, shut my mouth on that one. <laughs> and, uh, my, my grandmother, who I was named after, and her, the cherry her, juice. <laughs> <laughs> She was. She decided, you know, no one can can pronounce this. No one can spell this, and I'm tired of it. So she just kind of took the letters yep. out of it and. Oh, uh, my 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 access family. Um, they were Babinchek. They were. Uh, yeah, and and they shortened it to Babin, which then became Bobbin, um, just because apparently people can't pronounce things. You know, just like right. the whole thing. The. Um, Ellis Island thing, you know, a lot of people showed up without papers. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? That got abbreviated into the derogatory term of what? Because apparently a lot of the Italians didn't have their papers. I don't know. Hmm. There's a cherry tree shortage. <laughs> yes, apparently. <laughs> Manda's family is responsible for the derogatory term for Italians. What? Let's blame the Jews. Come for on, you're all, I was going to say, we can't blame for everything. Now we got This is ridiculous. I guess that's, I that's, how, that's how things degrade. So, uh, we never got to your superhero power. Nick, we got, we got ten minutes. Um, I like the, uh, there was this little boy who could, um, shut up. Who he could put his hand against any computer and he could talk to it and like tell it what to do. And I think that's so interesting. Yeah, we have that now. It's called Siri. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a touch screen over here. <laughs> but he like would like rob ATMs and stuff like that just by putting. Oh, so you, there, like. your superhero power would be thievery. Well, no, I'm just saying. Nerdy you know, it's like <laughs> I technically am very not very good with computers. So. Not very good with DVDs, that's for sure. Oh! And there's the full circle. <laughs> Been going on for a year and a half. Yep. <laughs> Almost two years. Almost two. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, because I saw that show. The only the, the only person that I can uh, deride more is Corey Benway because he has a really good recording of the Rocky Horror show mm -hmm. that we did at the Onyx. Mm -hmm. And every time I see him, I've, uh, I'm mean, doing the producers with him now. I just did Next Normal with him earlier in the year. Every time I see him, he's like, but he, he comes at me with it. He's like, I got a really good DVD you should see. <laughs> and then just walks away from it. Nice. Um, I like my little messages that I get up at school. They're like, hey, by the way, still hate you? I'm still looking for that DVD. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, if, I, if I can uh, make your uh, stay in Colorado a miserable one, I will, I will do so. I expect nothing less. Uh, good. So... Uh, so, uh, if you could fix computers, that would be your superpower. Yeah, not fix, but just like talk to them. Like, 
Hey, like... You, you realize computers speak in binary. I don't know what that means, like I said. Zeros and ones. <laughs> so it could be a really boring Nothing conversation. Be like, how are you feeling? The biggest thing I have is computers is print out my headshot. So, yeah. that's about it. And get new songs from my iTunes. Okay. Yeah. That's my superpower. So what's the, what's the latest song in your book, then? The latest song? Yeah, because I'm sure you have a book because you're, I do. you're working on a degree in musical theater, and therefore I'm sure you have monologues that you've had to learn, do you know? Yeah, I do have monologues, um, but I have a ton of songs. I have a huge book of songs, and I just... What? Did you say something? I missed we didn't it. have I to. Can't hear no. you. That's what's so great about, about this one. Okay, anyways... Yes, I have a lot of songs in my book. <coughs> <laughs> what did you say? I totally missed we didn't it. Say anything. We didn't That's say, the greatest. We thing. didn't say anything. Uh, I, 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 I kind of chuckle. I, I love the aspect of learning uh, a craft, um, or learning a cherry juice, whatever. <laughs> um, there, there's some aspect of theater, drama, musical theater, whatever. Um, and, and I will equate it to this. I can't dance. Mm -hmm. um, I know I choreographed you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> That's how you do it, Nick. Um, uh, but um, but I, I, I know that I can move, and I mm -hmm. know my limitations, but I will never, I would never go to school to be a dancer. I would never put on anything that I'm a dancer. If somebody right. asks, I can say, you give me the time, I will learn the, the steps. Mm -hmm. I'm not a dancer. I can move. I will do this. Right. Um, but, you know, uh, he, so I always, always love, you know, uh, individuals who, who go to school for, for acting. Mm -hmm. um, and this is not against you. Uh, but there's, there are some people who are just like, you're, there has to be some skill coming in. You can't learn, you can learn the tools. Right. Um, but you know, there still there still has to be some natural ability, mm -hmm. and so our moment here was those tools. Um, you know, having monologues prepared. Right. Um, that's probably about as useful as that crescent wrench in your trunk for when you're going to swap the tires out mm -hmm. with the spare that is flat in your car right. <laughs> you're never gonna really use it although but no but knowing uh and and sean i know you'll probably call and say i disagree but it's you know five till so you don't have time um there there's obviously the values to the monologues and we've had the discussion here numerous times but you know we were kind of laughing you know not just it i bet you have your book you know it's yeah. so sweet uh and you know for going to be doing it for real and going mm -hmm. to New York, New York, yep, for when you walk in and then you're like, all right, you have eight seconds, go, right. next, mm -hmm. it's like that book is going to do you, there's there's so much of how you look, you know, who right. you know, um, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, going in with your best eight bars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. But, uh, so, what's number one, number one on your uh, book? My go-to audition song is Goodbye from I Love You Because. Um, I don't know that one. It's a modern-day Pride and Prejudice musical. I Love um, You Because. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the musical? Yes. It has some great music. It's not a really good storyline, but it has some really good music in it. Well, it's a musical. Yeah, you know, Pride and Prejudice. Right. Yeah, plot, horrible, plot. Sto horrible story. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that one's always in there, but I, I love... No, I'm I, sorry, I... I no. Because... Um, I, I'm always looking for something, you know, I, I just finally came across, you know, the Jerry Springer opera. Right. Uh, I, I've known about it for years, but I finally just came across the mm -hmm. recording of it. So, um, so I'm curious, it, where, when was this done? Where was it done? I love it because yeah. it was off Broadway for a while and I think it was 2002. Um, okay. and I'd heard about it from a friend when I was just started to get into musical theater and, um, I listened to it and I fell in love with it. And there's a cast recording of mm -hmm. it? Yep, okay. there's a cast recording. I won't um, ask you for it because I've never seen it. You'll never it. get it. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, some really great music. I would say I recommend to check it out. Okay, fantastic. So, 
Yeah, I'm always building up my book. I love like finding new songs and stuff like that. I, I'm fi I'm finding that my book um, because I don't have a go-to. Mm -hmm. I've never had a go-to. I always look for a song, much in how you um, you know did your audition for Keith. You find a song that kind of represents what you're going for. <clears throat> right. And so, I do that. Mm -hmm. I look for songs, um, you know, that that kind of fit. Um, and that, for me, that works well enough. Um, I think for the producers, though, that's the first time in a long time I've actually sung something from the show. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and Joe's that kind of person. He's like, you know what? I I know what the music's going to sound like. Let's hear your take on it. You right. Know? Um, so I sang um, you know, Tomorrow. Uh, which, uh, <laughs> no, I sang Old uh, old Bavaria because, boom, <clears throat> the whole song is 32 bars. And it's like, bing, bang, boom. Right. Great. My stuff. I don't have to pick the best 32. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, and, and, so, uh, and so Eric got that role. So, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I get to play the transvestites. Or not the transvestite. That was hair. Um, I get to play the gay German. Yay! You have to have those lessons sometimes. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that number is going to play out. What's that? Oh. Uh, yeah. It, it, <laughs> I, I look at it this way, and we're just about out of time. Um, <laughs> out at the ranch, it's family friendly, and I'm going to be playing Adolf Hitler gay. So, and by gay, I mean homosexual as opposed to happy which is what many of the patrons out there would equate to gay. So, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be fun. Um, I need to get a good pair of heels because... Talk the, to Corey Benway. Uh, no, his feet are... His, he's got very dainty feet. I've already talked to him. And the pair that I have um, that I wore for hair, I still have. Um, but the arch is a little too high, and my toes just become numb after about an hour. Such a lot of things to probably open. Well, good. Why don't you go fly to Wisconsin? Oh, I would, or... but he's coming back tomorrow at Is 10 really? p.m. for good. For yeah. good? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if it's for good for good, but he's not doing that show anymore. Oh. Yeah, so he's going to be back now. Because he was just doing Godspell, wasn't he? Yeah, he quit. And did he leave David Tarr out there? No, David's with him. Oh, that's coming right. I forgot Godspell. We were also doing that at the office. Someone I left out. Like that segue? Yeah. <laughs> And, and, it's like I worked in radio. And, 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 with that, and with that, we're going to uh, we're going to close the curtains on another episode of Curtain Call. How about that? Good segue. Whatever. Uh, I, I really appreciate the two of you hanging around the entire time. Uh, you make a great couple, um, or you would. Um, for for uh, Eric and Sean. Um, Thank you. Uh, go support the local theater. Lots of great theater uh, in town at the Onyx, at LVLT. Xanadu is opening up next week. Uh, your guys' show opens up on the 10th. Uh, and uh, plenty of stuff um, that you can catch in town. Uh, so until next week, uh, have a great... Uh, for next week, have a great week. I never know how to end this flipping show. How about I just, like, thank you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>